The independent commission searching for answers in the Lewiston tragedy now says they need subpoena power. CBS 13's Brad Rogers looks at why some people are refusing to appear before the group and the documents the commission says it needs to provide a full report to the people of May. I have to have the, the person in front of me to take them into protective custody. Members of the Sagadahawk County Sheriff's Office telling the commission last week why, after warnings Robert Card might commit a mass shooting, they didn't take him into custody or use the yellow flag law to seize his guns. Today, the commission's director told the state judiciary committee not everyone is as willing as deputies were to appear before them. As the commission has undertaken its investigation, it has encountered several individuals who have either refused to appear who have been directed not to appear by their superiors. And Jordan says that includes members of the U.S. Army. A bill sponsored by legislative leaders of both parties seeks to remedy that. The independent commission requested they have subpoena power to obtain documents and perhaps to compel witness testimony as it conducts its work. State police have agreed to turn over all evidence in the case to the commission, and commission members have agreed to keep that evidence confidential. But the state attorney general says subpoena power will be needed to obtain out-of-state confidential documents. Particularly since we, we know that there's evidence that Mr. Card may have been in a psychiatric facility in New York, um, I'm thinking more about how this gets to that statutory protection for those records. Commission members and Governor Mills say this subpoena power is the only way to gather all the necessary facts and evidence for a full and complete report. Without such power, there will be scores of unanswered questions and missing information. We believe that mean people are entitled to a thorough, objective, and timely account of what happened, and we believe this authority is necessary to ensure that the commission can deliver that. On Thursday, the commission will hear from victims of the Lewiston tragedy. Commission members say they are acutely aware of the pain and suffering they've endured and will not subpoena any of them to testify. Brad Rogers, CBS 13 News.